hello guys uh, so as i promised i'm going to uh, illustrate a small video on how i'm doing my shading i uh, don't worry the speed is just for uh the earring the nose ring sorry uh so what are the first thing that i do when shading i take a light pencil for this instant i took an hb pencil uh, for me it's light and it's good for my first layer so I take the pencil and draw some sketch lines you see first I start to create um, a layer one before doing all the tissue and shading and stuff and smudging and stuff so I first start with um, sketch lines and I draw them from top to bottom or bottom to top you see it's one line going uh, down ones and they have to be <clears throat> they have to be close don't draw them so far apart because when you draw them closer you're going to have an evenly uh, shaded uh, layer but if you draw them apart you're going to have some gaps so when you look at my pencil the HB pencil it's really light but it's um it's visible so don't use a very light pencil so if you don't have a HB pencil you can use um, uh, a B pencil there's B there's also an f pencil and you can also use a 3b yeah you can use a 3b so any of those pencils can work and for me i'm using faber castell and i think this is a very good uh, brand but you can use any okay you can use any that you have it will still work i'll create a video later on different kinds of pencils because i ha i think i have three stedler maslumograph and ah uh, faber castell okay then now I like uh, to highlight dark areas you know before I do my shade uh, my smudging before I smudge this line that I've just drawn I make sure that the outline of the face is really uh, visible to me so I highlight it using a dark pencil and for this case I used a, a 8b pencil but you can use any dark pencil provided it it shows the um, uh, the boundary between the neck and the face you see so that when you smudge you don't lose that okay because my outlines sometimes they're very light and i cannot really tell uh if the they are or not when i smudge so i have to make sure that i've drawn the the dark uh, border between the face and the neck then i go on with my hb because i have to be sure that i've sh i've made these sketch lines all over this helps me so much because um at the end of the day i'm able to to get a background layer and it's very important so the background layer is always light so that you can add darkness as you go but if you start with dark immediately um, if you are a professional if you have done art uh, in so many years you'll be able to control it but if you're a beginner it's going to be hard for you so make sure that you go light first before trying to go dark okay so light shading really helps you out and it's really good because at the end of the day you'll figure out that hmm, I need to add more darkness to my art or reduce it okay so it's up to you and always don't forget to put the outline of the face see how I'm, I'm going and adding the outline making sure that the face is distinctive I don't really have to make sure uh, that I'm losing the outline the only way to do that is to make sure that the face is um, divided from the other parts using the dark pencil normally when there is hair uh, maybe let's say flowing just past the face it's going to be easy for you to draw the to, to shade because you'll and you'll just directly know that the hair has to be dark you know so you just go with your 8b or 7b 6b whatever dark pencil that you have and you just do the outline part of it so make sure you do the whole face okay and that these places that uh, there is light make sure you just leave them like that and you don't shade on where it's light then you can take a tissue and fold it wrap it around your finger and go in circles smudge in circles 
you know, it's like you're drawing circles with your finger where, where you just made those sketch lines it's very important to, to go in circles because you're going to create an even layer you know there's no place where it will look darker than the other side or not and make sure when it's dirty change yeah go to another uh, place on the same same tissue and go again in circles every make sure you, you hit every point of the face that you drew the sketch lines the tissue paper is good because um first of all it will give you a smooth layer and two it's going to create an even an even uh, an even layer meaning that there are no places that will be dark or no places that will be da uh, light so it will just be the same and please when you're doing this don't tamper with them um, <clears throat> with the uh, with the paper so that means don't go so rough on it go softly because when you go rough you may tear the paper and destroy your own artwork so make sure you just go smoothly and lightly on the paper see how my face is turning out to be okay Okay, then when you're done with the tissue, if you have a brush, that is if you have it, you can go on using a brush because the brush now, instead of making it smoother like the tissue paper, it brings out the, the texture, the texture of the HB pencil. So it makes it really appear nicely. The tissue is just used to level it up, but you can also use the tissue in the place of the brush. You just need to go on and on add more uh, add more sh sketch lines if you see that it's really light then go in circles you see even the brush i'm using i'm also going in circles still so there is no uh, other way it's just going in circles and that's the best way to smudge your sketch lines if you do them in a different way it may work or may not but my way uh, is this i use the the circles and um, later you'll come to realize that there are different kinds of brushes and I think I will cover this in just a live video. It's going to be easier to explain how my different kinds of brush work. But for this case, if you don't have a brush, don't even sweat it. You just The process is the same. You're just going to use the tissue paper. So once you're done with the HB layer, you know, you've, you've made your face to, be a, to have an even layer and you want to go dark. Take now a darker pencil, but just don't go directly to either 6B or 8B. No, take a, now you, you, you used a HB, so take like a 5B or a 4B, and then make more sketch lines only on the areas that you want them to be dark. Okay, not, not the whole face now, only the dark areas. Do some sketch lines, then take your tissue paper and go again. Okay, so that's how shading works go layer by layer don't uh, rush and start making um, dark areas already no take it slow bit by bit look at your reference see where it's dark add the darkness use 4b if you see it's not uh, dark enough you can use a 6b there's no harm in doing it layer by layer but there is harm in starting already 8b taking an 8b and start shading only if you're used to art you can go on but if you're learning and you want to get a very nice art out of it please go layer by layer and for me i always use two layers i start with the light then i go to the dark but you can start with the light mid mid um, mid tone then go to the dark tone so yeah see now this is my 4b i go with the sketch lines i repeat the same process because now i'm working in the dark areas okay and that's simple how to shade 